Chris Wilder. Chris Wilder. I'm a tactical head. A tactical head. I am obsessed with football management. And I'm obsessed with people who really know how to manage. Not people who say they're not ready yet to win a Champions League after spending 500 trillion. Not naming any names. Chris Wilder. Management. Because even when I first saw the Sheffield United side, even when I remember seeing them, I think against Chelsea, I was like, the, the way these guys are organized, for, especially for a team who have just been promoted, these guys look good because this ain't... The thing I like about them is that this, they're not like a long ball r- r- routine gets rid. There is like... A, they're, they're solid, they're structured, but they're, they still want to play for, 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 for ball. They still want to play for ball the right kind of way, but just the organization from back to front of, the, of these guys are amazing and i think you have to look at look at chris wilder who he just organized this guy really really, really well and you're looking for arsenal is twofold because i was going to say it's two, i don't think it's twofold because i was about to say oh, it's twofold that you know arsenal didn't didn't did play well but Sheffield united forced arsenal not to play well based on how they set up not really i think it's just how well Sheffield united do, do defended Arsenal were not rubbish but i just think that they were so well organized defensively. I've got to look at Emery. It's not working. I know, like, it's already coming back, back from an injury. You need, you need a win. You need a result. Bring him on a, a, a lot earlier. Um, it's like for me. It's like you have to look at. Who, <laughs> Zil, I'm not his biggest fan. I'm not his biggest fan. I don't think he's that dude. But then as I was just scratching my head, okay, what is it about Arsenal? I'm trying to figure out what is it that they're missing? You know, they're having good approach play. They're keeping possession of the play. But what it was was, you know, that you, you give Obama a chance. It's a goal. There was, Dennis Rebus is a good central midfielder. Saka, um, look, all these, all these, all those kinds of guys. Pepe, they're, they're talented. You need somebody who knows how to pick a pass. There are particular football players where that is their expertise. For some people, no, Dennis Sebastian, he can't pick, pick, pick a pass. That's not his expertise. His expertise is that he's a really technically proficient central midfielder who you should always have in that midfield supplement. But there are people whose speciality is picking a pass. Iniesta's speciality is picking a pass. David Silva's speciality is, is picking a pass. Those are what these guys do. They are specialists in this pianich. He's a specialist in picking out a, a pass, and that is what Arsenal needed. So when they were in these situations, there wasn't a guy that was like, all right, boom, let me hold the ball up. All right, I can see that run coming through. Boom, I'm going to hit a pass that no one sees. You've, you've got to play the pass that no one sees. You cannot play the obvious pass. You can't play the vertical pass, the overlap, the one that is obvious, because then you're just playing a numbers game. Okay, hit it to the winger, cross. It's, it's, it's a numbers game. So, But I just thought that Arsenal needed to be a bit more interesting. A bit more different because when you're going up against a team who are so well drilled as Sheffield United were, so good defensively and knew how to break superb balance between defense, midfield, and attack, so they, they went just fully men behind the ball with, with, with nothing to actually give back. You you have to come up with, with something. So, um, and I, and I think as well as as I was saying, it's like too many passes, too many flicks, trying to be too pretty. And bro, Pepe is talented. But Pepe needs, like, the Fergie Cristiano treatment. Now, I'm not saying Pepe will ever be like Cristiano, but and Pepe was never as skillful as Cristiano was when he came from sports in Lisbon. But what you need is a coach to say, bro, play the simple pl- play the simple pass. Play the simple move. Be effective with what you're going to try to do. If you're going to dribble, dribble forward. Dribble effectively. If, what you know, if when you receive the ball, you're not going to do anything effective, keep hold of the ball, get possession but try to move forward try to play the pass forward try to try to just be much more offensive it's sideways it's so many touches it's too many flicks and it's like you like when if we we, let me look at even what liverpool do and everything everything is trying to affect the game in a positive way it isn't self-indulgent it isn't oh look at how good i am on the ball yes great we know that you're, you're you're good around the ball are you going to play through ball to Aubameyang? Are you going to play a good cross into the box? That's what you need to do. But I think for Sheffield United, 
superb, superb, b b great performance, 1,000% they deserve, beautiful defensive performance, and even very good with how they actually played with the ball, because they actually looked really good with the ball, and how they were actually giving Arsenal issues, and I just think that Brock with Chris Wilder tactically pimp-slapped Emery, simple as that.